In this session, we are considering 8 Quinn's problem. This video is in the continuation of the previous one. Please watch that previous video, then you will get the total concept. So, in the previous video, we had n Quinn's problem, but here we have placed n is equal to 8. So, this is the 8 Quinn's, Quinn's problem. Now, see, in case of 8 Quinn's problem, we are having this particular chessboard with the size 8 cross 8. And we already discussed that there is one solution that is queen number 1 at the 4th column, queen number 2 at the 6th column and so on. And I told you that this particular solution must be expressed in n tuple. So, here it will be 8 tuple. So, as the ith queen will be at the ith row always. So, I shall be keeping only the column number for the ith queen. So, that is why here the solution is 4, 6, 8, 4 queen at the second column. So, 2 and then I shall be going for 7, then it is 1, it is my 3, it is my, it is my 5. So, in this way, this is my solution 4, 6, 8, 2, 7, 1, 3, 5. So, that is the solution, one of the solutions for 8 queen's problem. So, it is the 8 tuple solution. Okay. So, that we discussed in the earlier video also. Now, let me go for the logic tracing. Here, I have considered arbitrarily, I have considered this particular diagonal. I could, I could have taken other diagonals also, but only to trace the logic, I have taken this particular diagonal. So, here, here you see 3, 1, 4, 2, 5, 3 and 6, 4, they are in the same diagonal. So, these cells are in the same diagonal. Let us suppose i, j and k and l, i, j and k, l are in the same diagonal i and j can be any one of them, k and l can be any one of them. Now, you see here we are getting one logic that is 3 minus 1 is equal to 4 minus 2 is equal to 5 minus 3 is equal to 6 minus 4 in this way. So, I can write from this I can write here that is i minus j is equal to k minus l. So, i minus j is equal to k minus l. So, now I can also write in this way that is j minus l is equal to i minus k. So, this is for the diagonal whatever we have shown this one. Now, consider this particular diagonal again this I have taken this one arbitrarily I could have taken this one also. So, now here you see so 5, 8, 6, 7 this is my 7, 6 and this is my 8, 5 they are in the same diagonal. So, 5, 8, 6, 7, 7, 6 and 8, 5 they are in the same diagonal. I am considering i and j and k and l are in the same diagonal i and j or k and l can be any one of them. Okay. Now, see here I am getting one logic. The logic here is that that is 5 plus 8 13, 6 plus 7 13, 7 plus 6 13 and 8 plus 5 13. So, their sums are equal. So, I can write i plus j is equal to k plus l. So, if we do some alterations here then I am getting j minus l and that is k minus i here it was i minus k. So, that is j minus l is equal to k minus i. So, now if we go for merging these two formula, these two conditions. So, I am getting a b s that is absolute that is I am taking I shall take only the magnitude part ignoring the sign. So, a b s of j minus l is equal to a b s of i minus k. So, after merging them I am getting this. So, now what will happen? There is the formula I am getting that is absolute of j minus l is equal to absolute of i minus k. So, in our algorithm I shall be using them, I, I shall be using this particular equation, this particular formula to check whether two cells are in the same diagonal or not. It is m material whether diagonal is like this or diagonal is like this. So, I have combined both two conditions to get the generic form. So, please watch the next video where we will be going for n Quinn's problems algorithm and the algorithm will be in the track of backtracking algorithm. Thanks for watching this video.